Hi everyone, it's Lacey here and I have a layout to share with you. And I'm using the Coco Daisy February kit, uh, but the sketch is coming from the Click Kit. So this is the sketch that I think they put out this week and it's just got this kind of um, like a top V and a bottom V pointing in towards a couple pictures. I am going to show it in a still shot here. So you can see that it has those two kind of triangles pointing in towards the pictures which is going to draw your focus into them. So I am going to use the Coco Daisy kit like I had said and I'm just going to use this Heidi Swap stencil and that's just going to help me uh, cut out those pieces of pattern paper. I'm just going to um, trace out the lines and then cut them out, which you're going to see here. I'm using a couple different patterns of paper. This one is from We Are Memory Keepers and I believe it's called Love Notes. And uh, the second pattern paper I'm going to use is, oh sorry, let me rephrase that. The one with the words on it is from We Are Memory Keepers Love Notes and it's called Count the Ways. And then the one that's kind of got that diamond pattern on it is from Kaiser Craft. It's from the Bowen Arrow Collection and it's called Stone. Um, I was going to try and use a different pattern paper uh, with these other patterns as well, but I just couldn't find one that's going to work. So I'm going to go back to that. Uh, we are memory keepers pattern paper and I'm going to cut out that same word uh, lines again. So I don't know what I did wrong when I went to go glue these down but apparently I wasn't thinking and uh, they didn't really get uh, straight or not quite perfect so you're gonna see me fuss with them for quite a while and then that way um, I'm just gonna play around with them trying to get them placed on the page but then um, I eventually do get it done what I'm gonna do is just take a line of glue and just go down the middle because I wanted to sew these actual uh, pieces down to that kind of background paper so it looks like they're all one Okay, so you see me fiddling with the placement there. Um, I took those pieces off the screen and I went and I sewed them together. And I uh, am just going to glue those down. I was kind of fussing with the placement of them, whether I wanted these kind of um, pieces to be more up towards the top or towards the bottom. But I like how they are more towards the bottom. Um, just kind of balanced it off in a kind of a different kind of way. So. Um, I always like my pictures to kind of be towards the bottom part of my pic of my layouts for some reason. I always gravitate towards the bottom part of my layout. So here I am going to um, cut the excess off uh, from where I glued that down. I actually overhung the pattern paper on purpose because I needed it to line up a little bit better than where I had it. So if I 
overhung the paper I could just trim it off to where I wanted it to be and then that way it looks like it was all perfectly planned and placed and nobody's the wiser so I'm just gonna use this paper and this is the uh, back side of that bow and arrow collection and um, it's just like a wood grain kind of chevron print and I'm just gonna use that to place my pictures down so I'm going to use some black soot distress ink and that's just going to help um, put a border around that pattern paper so that way they are, a, that way it shows that that paper isn't going to kind of meld into those other patterns that are going on there. And I was going to use these uh, little strips that have words on them. I was going to use it and I totally didn't so I'll use those on another layout. And I'm just kind of going through uh, some other pieces here to see what I can use, looking at the embellishments. And there was this bright pink uh, ribbon, and I wanted to put that um, kind of alongside those photos. Um, in this sketch, if you take a look back at it, there is uh, like a border along the side of the photos. And I really like how that just kind of helps your eye get guided towards those pictures. So I stapled it on the bottom, but I couldn't reach my Tim Holtz tiny attacher to that other side. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, it's totally fine. Uh, in the Coco Daisy kit, there was like these stamps that have like all these kind of um, images. So they're not like words, they're just kind of very graphic, grungy, kind of stencil y kind of images. So there's this one that has these hexagon kind of dot prints. I'm going to put that down and then I'm going to take some, I think this is the Pale Tomato Hero Arts ink and I'm going to use that to kind of add some more lines to the top and the bottom of the page. And actually I wish I would have did a stamp off version instead because that that's if I stamped off the ink pad. It was the perfect match to like that soft pink kind of look that that pattern paper is even though I didn't use it but it did go really well. I'm going to use these super big alphas that come in the kit to spell cherish. Now these do not stick very well at all. They are not sticky so I'm going to actually take my Tim Holtz attacher and I'm going to staple down those alphas. I was thinking about sewing them, but I just didn't. I probably should have. It would have added another little texture, but I didn't. And I think the staples kind of adds another little texture as well. So that's why I did what I did. So you can see I'm just going through some of the embellishments and trying to figure out what I'm going to use. That little banner there is going to house my journaling. I'm not going to journal a lot on this page. Um, these two pictures are of Maggie and Milo. Uh, for those of you who've been watching me on watching me on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, you guys know that back in October we lost Milo. He was um, old and he got really sick really fast. And this is probably one of the last few pictures I have of me and Milo cuddling. Milo was like the best cuddling dog ever. He would sleep in till uh, 12 o'clock if you were sleeping until 12 o'clock. He was just an awesome snuggler. And um, yeah, so I was just, I was looking through pictures to scrapbook and I saw these two pictures and I was just I don't know, take it aback and I'm like I miss him and I love him still and you know, I was okay to scrap with these. I think if it was probably a couple months ago before we got Kato, I probably would have not been ready. I was a blubbering mess when we lost Milo. It was really hard. So, you know, I think I'm now at the position where I can actually look at scrapbooking pictures or scrapbook pages of Milo and not be too upset about it. So, yeah, so that's my little story about what those pictures are about.